Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Spectrobe's Origins for the Nintendo Wii. We're just coming back to the point right after we got the coordinates from Doldago, the second planet of this game, from Radis, and right now we're just about to type them in. Just one thing before we head off to Doldago. Let's see if we can't get through to NPP headquarters. But our transmissions haven't got through this far. True, but that's why I've been working on a more powerful signal amplifier. Pretty nifty, huh? I sure hope this works. Wait, that's Gina's frequency. Gina, do you read me? Commander Grant? Yes, I read you. Oh boy, am I ever glad to hear your voice. Are you and Roland all right? We're fine, sir, thanks. You know you can't keep us down. We're fighters. I know. But even fighters have to be lucky. We've been worried since you two disappeared. Us too, for a while. But we touched down on a planet called Weterra. Hmm. So they did traverse the portal. Hmm? Commander, do you read? Yes, I'm still here. I can't chart the coordinates of the Nanairo system from here for some reason. The Link's dead. That was strange. What? What he muttered to himself about the portal, you hear that? I mean, how do he know about that? Doesn't make sense. Ah, you're overthinking it. Maybe. Time to head to Doldago. Roger that. I'll set the navigation coordinates. Beep boop beep. Very nice. Let's go. Gosh, that's that's some that's some dank ringage going on there. Too many spores into the universe. That's what that is. So this is Doldago. Radice wasn't kidding when he said it was covered in plants. Let's look around the village and see if Kemtoga's there. Look around for Kemtoga. Thank you, computer. Wait, Rowland, look! Whoa, that's dank. Maybe someone in the village knows what happened. Let's go ask around. Okay, the village chef's been cooking up a storm. Pretty sure if I just run straight, I can enter this house, yes. And just where exactly have you been, huh? <laughs> hmm? I don't know you, and I don't like strangers. Who are you, and what have you done with Solia? Uh, sorry to just barge in on you like this. I'm Gina, NPP. This is Rollin, my partner. <laughs> So, NPP officers, huh? Uh, wait, NPP? That rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I can't remember. This old bell's been rung too many times. Well, anyway, what do you want? And make it snappy. I'm busy here. And none of that bureaucratic blather. Got no patience for that. Just cut to the chase. Well, anyone? Actually, we're here to meet a guy named Kemtoga. What? Did you just say you're here to meet? I was just trying to contact Kemtoga myself. It's a complete disaster down in the forest. Greta's got a globe too. What's going on? It seems like the whole village is on edge. It's those crawl in the forest. No doubt they're the ones behind that tainted river. So the crawler here too? I've been trying to contact Kemtoga, but I haven't been able to get through to him. To make matters worse, my daughter Celia has gone off to who knows where. I hope that silly girl didn't go into the forest. If there's any crawl in the forest, why in the world would she go there? Because that's the kind of girl she is. She'd risk her life for that forest. I better go find her. It's too dangerous to go out there. Let us go look for her. I appreciate the thought. But we're talking about the crawl here. Yeah, but I'm a Spectro Master. Fighting the crawl is what I do best. You're a Spectro Master? 
It's been a long time since I've heard that title. In that case, I'll leave it to you, but please hurry and find her before it's too late. You can count on us. We'll start searching immediately. Defeat the crawl in the forest. Yes, that's the crawl, blah, blah, blah. Let me examine, um... Greta, your globe is much less impressive than Radice's. Also, why do your stairs not start at the floor, and why do you, why do you have plants at the beginning of your stairs? I don't... What what are these stairs? Do you use your second floor? Well, it looks like Radice was wrong. Camtoga isn't here after all. But it looks like we got ourselves a new mission in the meantime. Come on, let's hurry to the forest to find Greta's daughter. Yup, yup, yup. Almost thought the game was going to give me another objective thing. No fish? Okay. One of the most interesting things about this game was finding these little areas. Oh gosh, the tiling going on there. Ugh. But um, it happened so infrequently that like, eh. Hey sir, I'm just gonna go past, okay? No? Okay. Okay. Oh no, this is terrible! Hey, calm down and take a deep breath and try to explain. Greta's daughter Salia went alone to the forest. I ran after her and tried my best to stop her, but I couldn't keep up. I was just heading over to tell Chief Greta right now. Don't worry, she asked us to go to the forest to look for her. That's where we're headed right now. Perfect timing. I would go myself, but I'm afraid I'm no match for those crawl. Salia ran down this road. She's probably already deep in the forest by now, so you better hurry. Fine, Salia. That, that was... Yeah, th that was the mission all along, uh, game. Let's, uh, let's switch to Tobasu real quick, just so you can see this. Can I? Good boy. <sighs> Go. Oh my gosh. Just hearing this thing walk around behind you, everywhere is not fun. It's, it's not just like visually annoying, it's auditorially annoying too. Uh, Go. So, you know, it is not my favorite Pokemon. Go. Oh, two. Well, this is a, this is sort of a game changer. I might actually go back and evolve someone. Let's, let's actually get to, uh, the next part of this mission before doing anything Come here. with that. Go. Go. Nanda. Vroom vroom. Go. It's a party. Yeah. Oops. I wish there was an item to heal your spectrobes instead of just having to rely on blue orbs mid-battle coming out of uh, defeated enemies. That, that, well, that was a noise. <laughs> no, go. go. Thank you. You gonna get that? Wow. He really go. goes for that, doesn't he? Wait, go. where are you going? No. Go. go. Come here. Okay, suit yourself. This thing over here. This place. I haven't, fig I haven't figured out the, the point of. Because... Maybe a couple times there's there's an item here. I, I don't remember. Because it happens so infrequently if, it, if there is. But I think it's just a viewing platform. Go. But, like, when Disney puts a viewing platform in somewhere, they usually expect you to, you to find a hidden Mickey. And I just don't see... Like, I, I'm not just blind, right? There, there's nothing around here that even... Like, this plant's the only bulbous thing I can see, really. 
That that tree over there Go. that that um our guys standing right next has always been pretty suspicious because it's just like right in the middle of two pathways there. I'm not really sure what the point of it is, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. It's always been sort of a mysterious path to me. Hmm. Um, this planet I find is a good place to find evolution minerals. Go. Just throughout the game. I don't know if like the rates are higher here or whatnot, but I've had <laughs> I've had pretty decent luck. No, stop! Back off! You're not touching this tree, you hear me? Gotta do something. Come on, quick! Gotcha! Yep, here we go. Over there! Get him! Now! Go! 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 Come back! Over there! Get him! Now! Go! Try this. Go! Over there! Level 10. Special attack. Oh. Come back! Get him! Now. now no one will look. Go! Over there! Oh shoot, I need the orbs. I need the orbs! Thank you. You can go now. You saved my life. How can I ever thank you? My name is Salia, and you two are... I'm the Nanayiru Planetary Patrol Officer, Relin, and I'm his partner, Gina. What a relief to find you safe and sound. Didn't you hear about the crawl? Why, are you, why in the world did you go into the forest alone? Well, you see... It's a catastrophe. Terrible. What happened to it? It was poison, and it's all thanks to the crawl. All the water's been tainted. First upstream, then it slowly made its way down here. Crawl. You sure? Yes, without a doubt. I've seen it with my own eyes. You mean you've been watching? This tree. It's not just any tree. All the water around here passes through it, and when it comes out, it's absolutely pristine. It's sustained us for ages. We treasure it. This tree is the beating heart of our whole life here. It is life to us. Wow, now I see. It's amazing. A simple tree, and yet, for thousands of years, your fates have been bound together. Exactly. It's an honor to be the one chosen to watch over it. I had to come here. Zalia. Let's hurry back. It's way too dangerous out here. Plus, Greta and the rest of the village is worried about you. You're right. I'm sorry if I've caused you too much trouble. It's settled then. Back to the village. Merciful teleport. I... I guess? The rarest occurrence in all of Spectrope's history. Thank you so much. I made it home safe and sound thanks to you two. Please come visit when you get back. I'll tell you all about the crawl I saw in the forest. I'm so glad we were able to save Salia. Tell me about it. It's a good thing we arrived when we did. Now let's head over to Greta's house. We need to talk to her about those crawl in the forest. Return to Greta's house, which is literally what Juna just said, basically. This cave has always creeped me out. It's like, uh, it's dark in there, and pink, uh, purple liquid is flowing out. So you can use poison to fuel water wheels. Oh, that, uh... That satellite dish is floating. It's probably normal. What were you gonna do, 
fight those crawl all by yourself. Recklessness, pure recklessness. You don't think things through. That's your problem. Well, if it is, then I got it from you. You hush up now. Admit it, Mother. Don't tell me you don't remember that explorer, Neil, who got in trouble out there in the forest. You just went plunging into help when you have absolutely no sense of direction. <coughs> you ended up getting lost yourself. It took you a whole week to figure out how to get home. Lost, huh? I wouldn't go there if I were you. Why, I've never heard of a child who got herself lost as many times as you. Yeah, and you know what, Mother? Half the time it was when you were leading me by the hand. <coughs> An answer for everything. Bullheaded, big, smart mouth. It's a terrible trait. I don't know where you got it from. Like mother, like daughter much? Excuse what did you me? say? What? Me? Nothing. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, um... Salia, could you tell us about the crawl you saw in Poisoning the River? Sure, there were three of them. I saw the first one in Serenity Woods, east of the Tree of Life. The second was heading towards Triple Falls, north of the Tree of Life. The third one was in High Meadow, south of Thunder Crag. Each one of those places has springs that f feed the river in which, uh, on which the tree depends. Those three, call those three crawl must have poisoned the river, and it will likely clear up as soon as you defeat them. Got it. We'll smack those crawl down. You'll see. Now listen up! The crawl in the forest have all turned plant-like. That means they have the plant property. Fire spectrops are the strongest against crawl with the plant property. So make sure you have one. I hate to see plants burn, but those monsters are freaks of nature. But not all crawl you'll face have the plant property, so take a balanced set of spectrops with you. The key to surviving is using the right spectrop on the type of enemy you're facing. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, thanks Greta. We really appreciate it. Go to Serenity Woods. A great forest skater McGee is here. Off to get rid of that crawl in Serenity Woods. You're braver than I thought. Well, let me steer you in the right direction. First, take this road to Tree of Life. When you get to that tree, go right, and you'll reach a side road that leads into Serenity Woods. Oh, and I found something strange near that tree of life. Tree of life. Tree of life. Tree of life. It looks like a really old data disk, but I don't know what it's doing here. The property of... Uh, the people of Doldago don't normally use these things. Huh? You think it might be data left here by a spectral master who visited Doldago a long time ago? Hey, maybe maybe it explains... Hey, maybe it explains how a regular guy like me could be a spectral master like you guys. Me, I think I'm not. Okay, let's see. Triple Falls and Thundercrag. Let's see what this has to say. I heard a strange rumor from the people of Verdant Village. It seems a rare cactus has been discovered near Triple Falls, but what is far more interesting are the reports from people claiming they saw the cactus move. <gasps> Cactor! There seems to be no end to the variety of plant life around Dolago. Near the river that flows under Thunder Crag, sightings of a strange flying grass have been reported. I must investigate whether this grass can indeed fly. Man. Uh, a lot of people sent this old Spectrum Master on, on Wild Goose Chase, didn't they? Okay, so, basically, we're just... Go. Retreading the same uh, path that we did to get to Celine. Was it Celine? I already forgot her name. I'm, she barely. Go. She doesn't have any influence on the story after this. Over there. Get Double kill. Yeah, I, I, I already. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna save this charge meter. This uh, the charge meter persists between battles, so it's not like you gain anything by spending it early. Though I guess I could have used some different spectrobes Go. just to spice things Go. up or whatever. Whatever. 
Alright, back at the Tree of Life. Uh, let us see what the Tree of Life has in store for go. our swag selves. Go. No, go that way. Cool. I think I will actually uh, excavate a couple. Stay. Okay, let's see what we let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, cat, cat has, oh, can't stop. Okay, oh, uh-oh, cat, <laughs> why? Oh, oh no, she's blocking my wing mode. <laughs> uh, um, cat. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh, oh. Let me just, come on. Did it within a minute with a cat on my lap. Fantastic. I'll take a beat for that. <laughs> okay, so, um, now that we have a uh, cube. Uh, whose fossil we've already identified. Notice this doesn't have the thing's level on it. It only pops up when we've excavated them. That is because their levels are decided based on the Spectral Master's level, aka Rel and Regina's level, at the time of excavation. So if we wait till late game to excavate this Spyco, uh, you know, it could potentially be a max level of 100. If, if we get there before late game, I don't know why we would be at level 100, but yeah, that, that's a that's a tactic. Oh, okay, yeah. You can, you can find minerals in these things. It's sort of lame when you do, because it's like, okay, I get a single, uh, whoop, single how much experience boost, uh, whatever. It's a bee. It's a yellow mineral, whatever. Usually, usually what I do when I encounter a mineral in a fossil block is I just destroy it because it's just not fantastic. It's anti-fantastic. Look how close I got with that laser, man. My hand must have become pretty steady. Coolio, what, what, you, what, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? Hi. What's that? Got a cat on my lap. Oh no. What's that, Mama? Okay, now uh, now that I've awakened stuff, let us go re equip our teams. Don't need none of this uh, thing. Uh, we'll exchange socks for uh, Habo. So. What I want to do is evolve these three, and uh, you know, just wait for these, uh, these little dudes to come over. Wait, actually, no, no. <laughs> I, let me let me just uh, show you their personage before uh, you know. Uh, this is a Zaza. We named it Zan. It is level 10, which is the max level it could be at that point in time. Um, it is a is a fire type spectrobe. Uh, let's see. Where... Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is a Dongu. 
I named him Dugger. He evolves into a uh, tank sort of thing uh, of a turtle. He's plant type. Neato. Where is Zen? There's Zen. This is a Zen. He's um, a little monkey with smokestacks coming out of his shoulders. Uh, he's got good attack. Gosh, and defense. Oh, okay, he's level 13. That makes sense. He likes fire. I guess that's it. You can all evolve now. Da -da 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 -da. Dogger is evolving. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I guess now let's check them out. Wow, that like... What? Double his stats? A little less than double his stats. Uh, Heavy Burn. It's a, it's a punch. Uh, that leaves a little fire circle on the ground, I think. Comet Burst. I think... He charges into somebody. And that is it. Dogger. Cool. Uh, he's evolved into a Rapagu. Speed, uh, sorry, Seed Blast. He shoots some seeds from those, uh, portholes on his shoulders. Uh, Zan has evolved into Zazan. Uh, let's see. Fire Kick is just that. It's, yeah. And then fire spin, he spins around like a buzzsaw and uh, charges into his opponent. Pretty neat. I don't really like this guy all that much. Weird shape to him. I don't know, something, something about him just never... At least... Wow, okay, and he's aggressive. I better get out of here before I get attacked. We have officially filled up our... Uh, battle team. Uh, Spy 001 is actually pretty fine, but um, May 000 is it's just not. He's still level five. It's weird since he's like the the mascot Spectrobe of this game too. So what the game wants me to do is go down here, but uh, I would appreciate the option of being able to go down to the other places first as well, because it's basically the same, all different variable enemies. Just like she said, look! They're out to poison every last drop of water in the whole area. We gotta act fast and stop that thing somehow. That tree's just hanging on by a thread. What are you waiting for? Serenity Woods to keep the crawl. Actually, let's switch to uh, this. Get him. Over there. Get him. Now. Go. Over there. Get him. Oh, do you have two attacks by default? Now. That's pretty good, actually. Go. Over there. Get him. Okay. Um. Right now, I'm just charging all their um, special now. things up. Go. Okay, I've been poisoned. It's not great. Over there. Get 
Okay. Let us just... Engaging combat, right? Get him! No, get him! Okay. Can I just let you do this? Well, this is interesting. Uh Okay. Well, uh, you know, you you forced this out of me, but I'm gonna have to wreck you now. Yep. Do it. I keep Over there. gesturing for him to come back, but like, I don't know, it's not the, it's not the most exact science. That big bulbous mountain in front of us with all the <laughs> trees. That's one down. Two more to go. I'd say that was a good start. Yeah, we're on a roll. Where to next? The second crawl is, um... Oh yeah, Triple Falls, north of the Tree of Life. Go to Triple Falls. Yes, I, uh, thank you, game. Go. Jenna just said that. Collect my objects, Zinni. Is it just me, or are the roots of the tree moving? The Tree of Life is probably starting to heal itself. The more the river clears up, the better it should get. Let's help it some more by taking down the rest of the crawl. Good boy. <laughs> okay, Rowan. That's 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 enough of that. There's usually some stuff over here. Go. Yeah, like that. What? There's more? Go. Huh, okay. Another one. Great. Pretty bold pushing this deep into the forest. Pushback time. Come on. Now! Go! Over there! Get him! Now! Go! Over there! Get him! Now! Go! Out of range. Now! Go! Get him! Awesome. No. Let's have this guy take take uh, the rest of the hits that are unnecessary. Believe me, this this is 
harder than it looks. <laughs> I have to swing my uh, Wii Remote in a different direction. Is this meaning for you, uh, Rotor? The water is clean now. I forgot to read all that. Oh, oh well, whatever. It's just saying go, go to the next go. area, and then the, the game tells me to go to the next area. <sighs> Gosh, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in this area. I forgot about this. Go. Okay, yeah. Okay, this go. is the uh, ruins area that allows you to clip through it somehow. I forget. Is it? I think maybe you have to be like in combat and rolling. If I remember correctly, there's not an actual point to it, but go. I'm so excuse me, Gina. Well, and look, we can go that way now too. Hey, you're right. Let's see what's ahead. Uh, no. Go. Next thing we're gonna do is go and heal up because that go. was though it, it didn't cost me any, any spectrums. I go. Was a little brutal. Okay, Rotor leveled up by collecting stuff, and I just got healed up, so let's go right back to where we were and continue. Okay, I think this is where we were. That's that should be Thunder Craig. Uh, so let's just keep going. Go. Uh, anything over here? I guess so. Go. another th one of those things we can't touch until another part of the game metro metroidvania upgrade style stuff go oh a three wow giga ice bird go go oops Oh, gosh, okay. Let me just, uh... The issue with these guys is they have armor. Oh, gosh, okay. I, I guess it doesn't matter to Zinni. I don't really want to level up Zinni, though. He's too strong already. Actually, we can probably just do this. Oh. Okay, fight just ended. Fantastic. There is one of these things over here that uh, just... Hey, Gina, what do you make of this? I think it's some kind of stone marker, but it looks really old. Hmm. Doesn't this symbol-like picture here remind you of a spectrum? Yeah, you're right. I wonder if that means it's some kind of connection with the spectrobes we haven't figured out yet. I wish I knew what it could be. I mean, so far we haven't got any sort of reaction out of this thing. Aw, oh, this is driving me crazy. What are we supposed to do here? I mean, that, that always felt like more of a taunt from the game than, than like a... Oh, you need to go find something. Yeah, okay. I know I need to go find something, probably. I just... Uh, there's no obvious path here. How are we supposed to get past this? Rokus. Don't give up yet. That boulder would make a great bridge if we could knock it down just right. I bet a flying spectro would do the trick. Let's give it a try. Flying spectro, Ananomi. There's like. Two, maybe three moments in this game where you need a flying spectrum. Tch. 
Great, now we can get across. This is it, Relin. The third and final crawl. Third strike. Okay, now let's let's switch to uh Zuzan. How did you get to level twelve? My gosh, man. Alright, I guess you started at level ten. Good electric sheep. Wait, isn't that what a Mary is? That's cool. Go. Go. Oh gosh, did you see that strat? That was that that was some that was some good strats right there. Over there. Get him. Yeah. Some yeah. EXP for Rowan. Oh, there's Sky Element. What is... What's good against Sky Element? I, I, I forget. Did you get him? Cool. Gosh, how much EXP do you need, man? Oops. <laughs> Not even a level up. Okay. I guess this... I, I, I get that this is Go. supposed to be a huge mystical cave thing and stuff, but did they really have to make the little blips Go. so, like, widespread? What is this? Is okay, it's not dark. Okay, let's just, uh... Go! Go! Sits down. What, which one is this? Is it blue? What? Oh, is that the like Optoblaster or Octoblast? Huh. Interesting. I thought it was Go. like in the in the desert place. Go. Man, man hit. Like ruins four or something like that. Go. This is definitely a crab. Go. Go. I appreciate that they give you the option Go. of uh, how you wanted to get up to this point. Go. Like, there's a straight path right here. Which has like one item on it, one or two, right here. Go. And then th there's that other path that is is the Chad path, the Chad Go. way. Come here. Okay, let's uh, handle this with care. Go. Oh, oh no. Come here. Don't you do no. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Okay, just as long as he doesn't. Go. 
Let's just uh go. No, go. Go. <laughs> go. Ooh, a g really a guard mineral this early? That increases your spectrum of choices uh defense by one, which might actually be pretty good if your spectrum of stats double after okay, good. evolution. It's two down and one to go. Yeah, we'll be drinking out of this river once we get rid of this thing. Talia's gonna love me. I mean us. She's gonna love us. All right, ready to decontaminate? Ikazay! Let's do it! Cool. Ikazay! Come back! Get him! Okay, this yeah. isn't the... Okay, no. I need a... Zorze. Gosh. Get him! Awesome. Yeah, now I do need to level up this guy. Oh no, okay. Gosh, really? Okay, we're, we're just gonna need this guy to, to help with these. Get him! Really? The, the fist doesn't even work? Cool. Uh, let me just. Okay, I need to switch out. Hey, bud. This is working. Cool. Look at that fade effect. Wow. Oh, we did it. Yeah, the river should be back to normal now. Let's go check out the Tree of Life and see if it's been restored. Teleport? Whoa. I sort of wanted to look it's around this area. Some force running quick, through it. Could, wh yeah. Whatever. Looking at it now, you can just feel it. 
And it's not even back to full health yet. This is nothing. If you stick around, you'll see what I mean. You were both so brave. We're grateful to you. I noticed that the water had cleared up a bit, so I thought I'd come out here to take a look. I believe trees have emotions, just like we do. It's joyful again, thanks to you. And to you too, Rollin. Well, never would have thought of judging by the sight of you. But you got substance, kid. You're okay. Things will be getting back to normal now in the good old forest. Yep, a worthy job well done. Thanks. Are you allergic to something? Wait, you're blushing. What, me? I am not. <laughs> Wait. Where'd that door come from? This is the entrance to the ruins of the ancients. I once entered here with with Terra's Spectral Master, of course. I was much younger back then. And quite a beauty too, if I say so myself. Just smile and wave. Uh what can you tell us about that Spectral Master you mentioned? <laughs> He was really interested in our planet's ancient history. Oh, when I think about... <laughs> that look on his face as we explored the ruins, I feel like a kid again. Rallin, don't you want to go in and take a look around? Of course I want to find out what Ruterra's form of Spectrum Master was looking for in there. You two go on in. My exploring days are over. Just see what... Just see that you're careful, you hear? Yes, Greta. Explore the green ruins. They aren't green, they're pretty yellow, actually. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Go. Let's see, do I need to... I'll just go in with what I got and see, see if we're good. Go. Green ruins B1. But where's B2? You see that puffer fish looking thing on the ground? That's gonna be cutscene in it. <laughs> I always love that when one step later is a cutscene. Hey, look! Pictoglyphs! Like in caves and stuff! Look here! They look like spectrobes! You're right! But these are ancient! I mean, it doesn't make sense! I know that spectrobes. Well, they've been around a real long time and all, but still, this is really kind of unbelievable. I know. They lived together with spectrobes, coexisting in harmony. Hope that's where our world's headed. Be great, huh? Sure would. Be amazing. Huh? What is it? Look. This fossil. It's glowing. Looks like that one we found back in the room with the evolution pedestal. Yep, sure does. Weird, huh? Minions of doom gathering strength, threatening all with eternal night. Until the one upon whom we wait encounters the invincible beast of the light. The slumbering Beast King will stir, bring to an end the long-raging war. Then will he shatter into the skies, his power to sleep once more. Five far-flung worlds, five separate beds cradling war-weary bones, which gravely await the summons of the inevitable impeding battle bones. Abandoned were not, Yet his absence aches, as if hope were cut deep. O oh, cruelest of victories, when in winning we lose our great savior to sleep. Five sites, five resting places, and one of them is right here, in these ruins. So this means that the bones, or shards of the king, are scattered in ruins on five planets. But there's one thing I haven't deciphered. 
the Beast King. What kind of being is it? You must have an opinion, Greta. Tell me. Uh, me? Well, um, uh, um, I suppose. Uh, why me, anyway? No, no, you're thinking. Don't think. Just let your heart blurt out an answer. No idea. I mean, even my heart has no idea. Except maybe. What? I don't know, really. It's just. I think we should leave the shards alone. I mean, they're at peace, we're at peace. In my heart, I just feel that there's too much risk. I, I don't know. Tell me, Master, what do you think? <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's true. This thing should never be summoned lightly. Only in dire need. Whoa! It's just like that glowing fossil we found back on Weterra. So, what we saw just now was a vision from the past, right? Which means that this guy we saw was Weterra's Spectral Master! It must have been. What I want to know is why Greta looked the same as she does now. Rollin! Yikes, I was just kidding. Anyways, these shards sound pretty interesting. Let's keep going. No reason to keep standing around here. Obtain Zappy Fossil. Cool. It is not a pufferfish, by the way. It is a... Uh, big lizard. Big, shocking lizard. Come here! Hops. Okay. How about the? Oh man, a dead end. Wait, look, Valen. There's a small hole there. Small hole. Observed. Maybe a child spectrum could fit through. I was thinking the exact same thing. Better make sure it's one that walks on the ground and doesn't fly. Flying Spectrum's really got the short end of the stick in this game. Go. Okay, watch this, guys. See, all we need to do is let Spectrips help us with tricks and traps like these. If you need any other bright suggestions, just ask me. Yeah, right. You weren't even the one who came up with the idea. Well, let's just, um... Go! Lock that door real quick. Good. I don't know how Hannah's still over here, but you know, whatever. Go! Go! I wow! This is a weird run. Go! Oh! A gear is basically just like a free level's worth of experience for, um. Good boy! <laughs> for adult and evolved spectrums. Oh no! An encounter! Oops. Uh, okay, this might actually... Let's see what this does. It's the wrong target, but whatever. Cool. Awesome. As, as we've been going along here, I've been trying to find a sort of strategy for 
optimizing your child spectro uh, searching for stuff. It seems it seems like the best thing so far that I've come up with is um, telling them to go get something, running over to another thing that you're gonna point out immediately after they uncover that thing, and then telling them to get another thing. Wait, what? Oh. I wish they put more segments where you can control your child spectrum in-game. I mean, the, like, I can see where I need to go on the mini-map, because there's a path connecting there, but I, I want the experience. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, this might be good. Oh yeah, wow. Man. Oops. Get him. There we go. Go, come here. Go, go. Okay, D don't know what happened. Go. Where, where are you? No. Go. Come here. Wh what are you doing? Go. <laughs> go. Child bugged out. Watch the door close. Amazing. Oh boy. Oh shoot, right, okay. <sighs> Over there, huh? Gotta use this guy. Oh, does that does leveling up heal poison? Interesting. It's just uh Come back! Go! Cool. I think this is right. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Is there a fight in here, or...? Interesting. Get him! Awesome. Gotta bully some, uh... Speaker bugs. Cool, now he has his super. You got this, bud? Cool. One more. Awesome.
Man, this door won't budge. There must be a trick or something to opening it. Oh, so the man with the answers is stumped? You're hopeless. Let me show you how it's done. And then she disappeared. And one of the worst mechanics in the game. Because <laughs> it's only ever used for puzzle stuff and it makes it move slow. So it makes the puzzles go by even slower than they are. Uh, I choose you. Yeah. And, uh... Huh? This goes here. Yeah. Good. Yes. Huh. Ah! My sensors indicate there's a powerful crawl beyond this door. You think it's one of those big ones just waiting to pounce on us? Most likely. So I hope you're ready. But first, how about we stop at a save point, just in case? There's one. Okay, uh, so I, I, I guess let's go try this. I don't know how well this is gonna go, considering all the people are level 10-ish. This thing can be so annoying to fight. Just, uh... <laughs> Come on! Oh shoot. Okay, he didn't get poisoned. Look at this guy twitching around. Ah oh, shoot. Okay, well. This will have to do. Snaps. Uh oh. Come back. Now. Go. Over there. Come back. How far does this reach now? Okay. Same distance ish. Okay, yeah, good. Get him! Now! Go! Over there! Get him! Now! Go! Come back! Over there! Come back! Get him! Now! Oops. Okay. We good? Um, okay, th this this has been pretty easy. I wonder if Over there. I think New Game Plus really does uh, give it some substance Come back. with uh. Over there. Get wow, in regards to uh, how difficult that is. Secret door open. Look, Rellin, the door open. Man, we rock. But where were you, Gina? Go deeper. Where's that glow coming from? Hey, Relin, isn't this... 
The Shard of the King, the one we heard about in that vision with Greta and the Spectro Master in it. Whoa, this is cool. No, wait, Rallin. Didn't anyone ever tell you you're supposed to look before you leap? Sorry, but I just couldn't resist. It's like this shard was calling out to me. What? what do you mean? I know this sounds crazy, but I felt like it was telling me to take it in my hands. Yeah, you're right. It does sound crazy, but at least we have it now. What do you say we head back and see what we can find out about it? Good idea. Maybe Greta knows something about it, too. Okay, let's hurry back to Verdant Village and bug Greta with lots of questions. I bet she loved that. Greta, Celia, we're back. Brown and Gina, good to see you. Well, looky here. I am, I am, I am not voice acting you again. Well, looky here, back in one piece, and not scratch, not, and not a scratch on ya. What did you expect? We're just that good. Not only that, we brought something to show you. You don't say. Let's have a look. Look here. Good heavens. Now I remember! It's all coming back to me. But something's different about it. Like what, Greta? Might be a trick of the memory, but... Somehow, compared to before, or in my memory anyway, the glow of it wasn't quite as bright then as it is now. That glow is pretty bright. I have a bad feeling about this. Wait a second, I just thought of something. What? Maybe the huge crawl we fought in the ruins was after the shard. How's that even possible? I mean, crawl act on instinct. How would they know to go after a shard like that? So you think it was just a coincidence that the biggest crawl happened to be in the deepest part of the ruins? I, I, think, I think you're onto something, Gina. When I ran into the crawl, they ignored me and instead went straight into the, straight for the tree of life. It was like something was controlling them. That is interesting. You see, the Krawl have attacked the Kaio system many times throughout history. But this is the first time they've ever showed any sort of purpose. It's like... Like polluting rivers and hurting the... Like... Hurting the tree of life. So, you're saying they're acting according to some kind of plan? It's hard to say for sure at this point, but I think we better be more careful from now on. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I think it's about time we headed back to Uterra. Greta, Salia, thanks for your help. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Besides, you helped us plenty more than we helped you. Rollin, Gina, I don't need to tell you how dangerous the Crawl are, but please be careful. I never knew life forms as evil as Crawl existed, and I'm worried we haven't seen the worst of what they can do. Don't worry about us, Salia. I mean, I'm NPC. <laughs> I mean, I'm NPP Officer Relin. Those Krell don't stand a chance. I gotta hand it to you, Relin. You have enough confidence for us all. But that's what I like about you. Investigate the shard mystery. Come, Togo. Goodbye, Greta and your pathetic small globe. Wonder what's up with that red glow. Yeah, me too. Uh, all this thinking has given me a headache. You lightweight, just leave the brain work to me. Now let's head back to Weterra and ask Radis about this. Return to Weterra. Okay. Hello, there you are. Give me the thing. Yes, thank you. Wait, what? Is it not from this planet? Desert ruins. I encountered an Earth property spectrobe in the room from which the sloped path leads in the fourth set of ruins. It's said to be f the fiercest and most unruly warrior ever, but I believe it might prove to be a trusty ally. That's nice, Momo. What about this fisherman? Yeah, okay, he's fishing. Ap apologize? Man, leaving this heap of dirt. 
Okay, so anyways, uh, let's go back to Uterra. Relin, I'm going to try and get through to headquarters. NPP headquarters, this is Harry. Hey Harry, how's everything back at home? Gina, is that you? Oh, it's great to hear your voice. You guys okay? Of course we are. We were all worried sick. Where are you anyway? Don't you think that's weird? Commander Grant not telling him about us? <sighs> Gina, you read me? Yeah, roger that. Hey, is the commander around? The commander? Negative. Sorry about that, guys. Where is he? Dunno. Actually, I was hoping you might know. No one's seen him at all since you guys left. What? Not at all? No, not since then. He was acting sort of strange at the time. Probably because of that sector coming up again. What sector? What do you mean? Uh, this is just between us, okay? Promise. Nana Iro ice cream sundaes for a year if either of us blabs. Oh, really? Do you mean it? I love those things! <laughs> anyway, here's the story. It seems about 30 years ago, a young MPP officer disappeared on assignment out there. Disappeared? Hey, not so loud! Look, I want you to know I strongly recommended calling you guys back in, but he wouldn't do it. Who was it, Harry? Who was the officer who disappeared? You sitting down. It was Grant. What? Wait a second. Is this his old badge? Uh, Roland, do you copy? But if Commander Grant visited the system 30 years ago, how come you never told us? Um... Beats me. My head still hurts from all that thinking I had to do lately. Anyways, it's no use worrying about that right now. We'll just... We'll just have to ask him ourselves. That's just it, Relin. We can't ask him. We don't even know where he is. Now let's get back to Witera. Yeah, not to change the subject, but, you know. We need to finish... The, we need to visit our reddish friend. Oh gosh, the Tuscan Raiders. This is, uh, this is an interesting fight. <laughs> Gosh, those Tuscan Raiders flip me like pancakes. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. There, there, there it is. It's, it's, it's a hidden Mickey. Hidden McCoy. Hmm. Fantastic. This is the creepiest pot you have up there, Radice, but your globe makes up for it. Back again, I see. Have you managed to locate Camtoga over on Dolago? Nope, no sign of him anywhere. Well now, that must mean he already left for another planet. I must apologize for providing you with outdated information. No sweat, Radice. At least we were able to defeat the crawl there and explore the ruins under the Tree of Life. Yeah, and we discovered the legendary Shard of the King deep within. Shard of the King? Yep, we brought it back with us, but we're not really sure what it is. We wanted to see what you thought about it. What is this? You were able to take the Shard from the ruins? Might I have a look at it? I... good heavens! This red glow. Do you see it? It's... it's an omen of impending doom. Like what kind? Hmm. 
no doubt. It can only mean one thing. Crawl. The shards always warn us when those monsters are massing. But this is frightening even to me. I've never seen such a glow. Nothing as intense as this. I wish it weren't true. But this confirms it. Our with terror is facing an unimaginable disaster. Is the shard of the legendary beast king savior of your planetary system? I wonder what sort of danger your planet is in. What is the shard trying to tell us? It is said that the shards glowed brightly once before, but that was many eons ago. Back then its ominous glow preceded the coming of a horrific crawler that attacked our village. It was a giant amoeba that kept splitting apart, fill filling the land with crawl after crawl. 100 spectrobe masters aided by 10,000 spectrobes battled for 100 days to defeat the enemy. They saved our planet from being utterly st destroyed in a never-ending flood of crawl. So the shard's trying to tell us your entire planet's in danger of being destroyed? It's not unheard of. Back in our Nanayara system, we saw evidence of our planets... of planets destroyed by the crawl. I believe you were meant to find the shard. Perhaps the Beast King is somehow guiding your hand. May I keep the shard here with me for the time being? I would like to study it if you would not mind. Perhaps I could find some clues to the impending doom and the Beast King itself. Be my guest. Besides, we have some other planets to explore. Legends say there were shards on other planets too. Please bring back any you might find. Sure, Radis. We'll add shard hunting to our to-do list. Do the legends provide any clues where, the, where we should start? Well, there is one legend about the shard said, uh, said to rest on the ice planet Koryurigiri. Yes, Kemtoga re retains a base camp there. If he is no longer on Doldago, then perhaps he has returned there. And he no doubt knows where you can find the ruins there. You must explore them just as you did on Doldago. Here are the coordinates for I recommend you head there at once. Will do. Let's get going, Gina. Oh my gosh. Obtained coordinates. Go to Fantastic. Is that on your globe? No. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for today. Oh. Uh, just a second. <laughs> oh, my friends, I wish I could say good timing again, but I don't have a new weapon ready for you this time. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. Everyone has a bad day now and then. Yes, indeed. I seem to be in this sort of slump lately. Truth is, I seem to be lacking in the inspiration department. Wait, I know. Could you show me a zini? You know, one of those child form spectrobes? Oh, of course, Kotetsu, especially if, if it might give you a new idea for a special weapon. Right, Rallin? You bet, but why Zini? I have a feeling I'd come up with a super duper idea if I could just see one of those guys. Don't let me down. Oh, and don't forget to let the little fella out of your Cosmolink when you bring it over. I mean, how else am I supposed to see it? Okay. Here it is. Uh... Remember, I need to see a zini. I don't forget to let out the... Is this not... Uh, we'll do this... We'll do this... Either next time or in between sessions. Because th this is like... Because he, he, he doesn't just ask you for one. He asks you for like... Three. And you, so you have to keep running back to the save point up here. And then running back to him. Let them out. And it's just... It's an annoying process. So, uh... Uh, anyways, guys, that is all the time I have for this episode. Thank you so much Come for here. watching. Uh, as always, Go. I hope you had fun, because I certainly had fun. And, yeah. Sayonara. Sayonara.